In this recording, we look at how to work out trigonometric integrals which are the product of an even power of sec x with any power of tan x. And this is best to illustrate with a specific example. So let's have a look at this case, finding the integral of sec to the 4x times tan squared x with respect to x. And the general principle here is that we break off a factor sec squared x. So in this case, that means in fact that sec to the power of 4x will be left with the remaining sec squared x once we break this off. And then we've got our tan squared x. And I'm actually going to write the factor of this sort of broken off at the end of the expression. And what we then do is we use the identity sec squared x equals 1 plus tan squared x to replace the remaining part of the trigonometric expression. That means this bit here that remains once we've broken off sec squared x. We rewrite that with an expression in terms of tan x. In this case, in fact, since it is just sec squared x here, it'll be directly replaced with 1 plus tan squared x and that's still multiplied by all of this. It's still multiplied by tan squared x sec squared x dx. So let's have a look at what we have now. We have an expression involving some powers of tan x and we then have this factor sec squared x that we broke off. What do we do from here? Now what's interesting is that the derivative of tan x is in fact sec squared x. That means we can use integration by substitution here. In fact that is why we have broken it up in this way. So that we can let u be equal to tan x when we're looking at problems of this form. So du dx equals sec squared x as we said before and that means du is sec squared x dx. So you can see this means we can do a very nice direct substitution here. It's the first part of this 1 plus tan squared x that's just going to become 1 plus u squared. Another tan squared x here that will also be u squared and the sec squared x dx is du. So that is why when you've got an integral like this involving powers of tan x multiplied by an even power of sec x, breaking off the factor of sec squared x and then writing everything else in terms of tan x then allows you to do the integration by substitution. It's now just going to be a matter of expanding out the brackets here. So that's going to give us u squared plus u to the 4 as the expression we're integrating. And now integrating that, we just get u cubed divided by 3 in this case, plus u to the power of 5 divided by 5 plus c. So this is what we were wanting to work out originally, the integral of sec to the power of 4x times tan squared x dx. We now know that this is just u cubed divided by 3, so that's tan cubed x divided by 3, since u is tan x, plus u to the 5 on 5, that's just tan to the power of 5, x on 5, and then plus c. So the main thing to remember here being to break off the factor of sec squared x, write everything else in terms of tan x, using this very useful identity here that sec squared x equals 1 plus tan squared x and then using integration by substitution to get the final result.